Hello everyone, Pazu here. Welcome back to Blackwell Epiphany. Uh, the keys are inside. We need to get Rosa in. Uh, so, let's switch back to her. And talk to the Hi clock again. again. Mm -hmm. um, yes, yeah, the office door. Is there a way I can get into the manager's office? Um, did he give you permission to go in there? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, yes he did. Oh, then he should have given you the code. Code? Yeah, for the keypad next to the door. Uh, there's a keypad. Huh, didn't know. You wouldn't know what the code to the door is. No, nobody ever told it to me. Sorry. Thanks. Sure. Okay, where's the keypad? Is it this one? Uh-huh. I didn't see this before. Uh, so a code. Maybe it has something to do with the sticky you note. Know. Okay, let's get Joey back inside. Um, there's a note and... Wait, hold on, what about the calendar here? Any dates? A bunch of meetings and appointments are written down on this thing. Nothing really stands out, but the weekends are all labeled Kendra. Huh, so no dates? Let me take a look at that sticky note. It says something about calling Joe. Um, it says, call Joe. I have no idea who that could be. Call Joe. Can I use a phone? Probably not. Uh... And a screen. Oh! Use the win ability on the mouse to get rid of the screensaver. Is that going to work? Oh! Huh. Whatever I did, it worked. Here we go. So Kendra and her father here. All I can really do is look at it. Huh. An Exeter house. Wonder where that is. Um, and you've got mail! <laughs> we need to get Rosa in here. To check on the mails and also grab the keys. But um, Exeter house. Why don't we have Rosa do a web search on that? Maybe we can get that location, that address. Okay, so... So, exit the house. Oh, here we go! So, new location. Impeccably maintained. Full service, pet friendly, co-op building. A prime village location. Building allows co-signers, guarantors, and pi pied a terries. What is that? Pied a terries. Huh. So, a new address. Probably the dad lives there. After the separation or divorce. So... Exeter House. And here we are. I've never seen him so focused. I think he's taking this one personally. Joey, I'd like to talk to you. What is it? I love the look of these old brownstones. Really? These were old even in my day. I never understood the appeal. They're solid, I guess. Secure. People like that in a home. It's comforting. Comforting. Really? You feel this way too? Kind of. We see death all the time, Joey. Isn't it nice to see something that lasts? Eh, not really. All it does is remind me of how old I actually am. Joey, I'm already freezing. Do you have to make me depressed as well? You're the one who brought it up. Okay, about... That little girl. She's hiding from something. Burying herself in creativity. Really? I kind of know the signs. Huh. So Rosa went through it all. And... Did you find anything useful on that computer in the manager's office? It's not like I could do much, but there was a photograph on the screen. It was a picture of Kendra, and someone who I assume is her father. Okay, so... It's frosted on the inside. I can't see through. It won't open from this side. It says Exeter House. It's welded to the side of the building. 
There's a gate over here. It leads to a small fire escape. The gate is locked. And this door is probably locked too. It's the front door. Pretty solid. Locked. Didn't expect anything else, really. Okay, let's try the buzzers. Intercom. Emil seems to be on the fifth floor. Fifth floor? Here he is. Emil Haskins. Hello? Hi, is this Emil? Yes, that's me. Who is this? My name is Rosangela Blackwell. Could I come in? I'd like to ask you some questions. You mean there's been progress? I'm... I'm not sure. I'm just trying to learn what happened. You're not with the police? No, they won't talk to me. I'm hoping you will. They won't talk to me either. Come on up. Rosangela Blackwell, was it? Yes, that's me. Come on in. I should have guessed you weren't with the police. I've spoken to enough cops lately to know the difference. So, you said you're trying to learn what happened? What exactly do you know? Um... Oh no, Kendra is dead. I don't think the father knows about her dad. Huh. I know that something happened to Leah. Is that all you know? Yeah, I'm afraid so. She's been missing for weeks, that's what happened. Big shot police detective. Poof, gone. Then, our daughter. So yeah, something happened. And nobody seems to be able to find out what. So, both the mother and the daughter are missing. And we know that the daughter is dead. But what about the mother? I know that Kendra is dead. I'm sorry. What? No. We don't know that. Nobody knows that. Not yet. Someone took her and she's missing. Not dead. I... Uh, of course. Uh, I'm sorry. The police might have given up on her, but I haven't. She's out there. Somewhere. I know it. Ah, uh, this is horrible. Um, about George Austin. George Austin was killed last night. What? George is dead? You didn't know? No. Of course not. You think the police tell the ex-husband anything? Ex-wife and daughter go missing. I'm suspect number one. How did it happen? He was shot. Shot? Jesus. I can't say I liked the guy. Leah dumped me for him after all, but Jesus. I always figured he was into something shady, but I thought it was more white collar. Insider trading or whatever. But someone shooting him? That's like mob stuff. Is that what's going on? Was he in the mob? I don't know. Jesus, Leah, some police detective you are hooking up with a mobster. I don't know if that's what happened. I hope not. If it did, I'll never forgive her. Huh. So, you work at the White Abacus. You work at the Wired Abacus? Yeah, real glamorous, right? I wouldn't know. It's a job, is all I can say. I'm able to afford the rent on this shoebox apartment, at least. Okay, so... About your wife... What did you do when Leah disappeared? Got grilled by the cops for three days. Even though there was no way I could have done it. I was at work, and... I don't know if you've been to that store, but it's got cameras everywhere. But I just stood by and took the abuse. Just on the off chance I would say something that could help them. Obviously, I didn't. How did you and Leah meet? I met her about 15 years ago. She was just a beat cop then. I was working for a small startup trying to make it big. Our office got robbed and she showed up to take a statement. It was love at first sight or something anyway. We were married for about 10 years, been divorced for about five. Can you tell me anything else about Leah? What else can I say? Great cop, good mother, passable wife. That about covers it. Okay. What about Kendra? How did you find out Kendra was missing? Her school called. The same day her mother didn't show up for work. They thought she was with me. I wish she was. Hmm. Do the police know anything? No. Not that they would tell me if they did. Tell me about Kendra. She started to play the piano last year. We didn't have to make her do it. She wanted to learn. That's Kendra. Quiet, but brilliant. Full of life. Marrying Leah was a mistake, but I'd do it all again. 
Is there anything you can tell me about Kendra? Anything at all? Just find her, and tell me she's okay. I'll do my best. Can you tell me anything about yourself? Is it relevant? Well, it could be. Hmm. Well, I'm a tech nerd. Worked for a bunch of startups back in the late 90s. Now I work at a chain store. Moved into this place about five years ago. Rented it from some Indian lady. Rent in this city is highway robbery, but there's no way I'm moving further away from my little girl. Can you tell me anything else about yourself? Tech nerd, ex-husband, father. That's pretty much it. Uh, so, oh, ask him about George Austin. How well did you know George Austin? Leah's the one who knew him. They've been friends for years. She talked about him sometimes. Well, what did she say? Well, that's the thing. I got the impression he was kind of a loser. A loser? No career, living with his parents, that kind of thing. She felt bad for him. But then we get divorced and he turns up wearing designer suits and living in a penthouse. And I'm living in this shoebox. Is there anything else you can tell me about George? No. I don't want to think about him. I just... Ugh, I just can't. And do you know anything about Grace Church? Are you familiar with Grace Church? Me? No. But Leah used to go there before we were married. She was really hung up on the place. Hmm. Well, I'll see you later, Emil. Yeah. Sure. See ya. All right. Hey, wait. Why are you doing this? You said you weren't with the police, so why? Um, doesn't matter. I have my reasons. There's much more at stake. Um... Yeah, I'll say that. There's much more at stake. Maybe. I, I don't care about the big picture. Can you help her or not? Yes. It's what I do. Poor guy. He's grieving, and he doesn't even know it yet. It never gets easier. Uh, this case is kind of messed up. Okay, let's change back to Joey. So, where's the dad? Oh, in the back room? And... That thing needs a date with a needle and thread, or a fireplace. Lots of books on accounting and business management. Oh, and a couple of comic books. Comic books? Some kind of oil painting, I think. I can't tell what it's supposed to be. And a phone? A phone, I think. It's hard to tell these days. Emil is in here, lying on the bed and staring at the ceiling. Uh, I should just leave him alone. This is awful. And... What about this photograph? Uh... One happy family. Lee is a cop, all right. She must have still been a beat cop when this was taken. That's definitely the little girl I saw. I guess that hat belongs to her mother. It's Emil. He looks leagues different than the sad sack we've been talking to. So, this is when Kendra was six years old. And I see numbers. I guess that's the date the picture was taken? Maybe that is a passcode that I need. 1029. Alright, let's remember that. 1029. Okay. I think we're done here. She tracked wet snow all the way up the stairs. <laughs> Come here for a minute. Yes? Poor guy. He seems pretty bitter about things, but it's hard to blame him. Yeah. I've never been a family man, but I know fathers can get pretty touchy when it comes to their daughters. So you think Emil is involved somehow? Dunno. But who knows what a guy in his position would do? Kids. They're always the hard ones. Really? I know life and death ain't fair, but kids, they should get a spook-free pass. 
No kid should ever be lost like that. Cold and alone. Yeah. We gotta track down this Leah person one way or another. Okay. Alright, I think it's time to go back to the store. Wide Abacus. And try out that passcode. <laughs> 